This video is brought to you by Skillshare. In this video, I'm showing you how to make a rich and velvety chocolate crema dessert with a simple cherry compote and almond praline topping. For the chocolate crema, you'll need 200 grams of dark chocolate. Chop the chocolate into small pieces and set aside in a heat-proof bowl. Measure 150 milliliters of milk and 150 milliliters of cream into a pot and bring to a simmer over low heat. While the milk is heating up, crack two eggs into a bowl and add in two tablespoons of sugar. Whisk together until the color has lightened slightly. Now that the milk and cream mixture has come to a simmer, remove it from the heat and slowly stream it into the egg mixture while whisking continuously. Pour this back into your pot and place it back on low heat, stirring constantly so as not to overcook the eggs. You only want to heat this for a short time and can easily tell when it's done when the custard coats the back of a spoon. Pour the warm custard over your chopped chocolate and let rest for a few minutes, then whisk together until smooth. Add in a pinch of salt, then cover to prevent the crema from forming a skin and place in the fridge for at least two hours to set up. So while that's resting, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, cooking, and more. So as a chef by day, YouTuber by night, it can get kind of tricky to find the time to learn new things or find new ways of incorporating creativity into my work. Because of this, one thing I really appreciate about Skillshare is that most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons that have been super easy to incorporate into my schedule. I've been working with a lot of chocolate lately on the channel, so a class I've really been enjoying is called Easy Chocolate Making, All the Basics from Bean to Bar. Chocolatiers Peter Gray and Nate Hodge from Raka Chocolate in Brooklyn run you through the whole process of how to make your own custom chocolate bar at home. They go over how to select the right cocoa beans, where and how to choose the right equipment, grinding, tempering, and packaging. I've also started watching the Creativity and Beer course, but there are tons of different classes that you can get into depending on what you're interested in. Since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box down below get two months of free premium membership. So go and check that out and let's just jump back into the recipe. For the almond praline, you'll need 100 grams of almonds, 200 grams of sugar, and about a tablespoon of water. Cook this in a pot over medium heat until the sugar turns a rich caramel color. Stir in a pinch of salt, then transfer it to a parchment lined baking sheet. And set this aside to cool. Once cool, break the caramel apart. To crush up the praline, you can either pulse these pieces in a food processor, or you can really annoy your neighbors like I did here and wrap up the praline pieces in parchment inside a towel and bash them up with a rolling pin. Set the praline pieces aside until you're ready to plate. For the cherry compote, use 300 grams of pitted cherries, 100 grams of sugar, and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Stir the sugar and cornstarch together, then add in the cherries.
stir this all together and simmer over low heat for about 15 minutes until the cherries have softened. Transfer to a bowl or container and set to cool in the fridge. Once the cherry compote and the chocolate crema are both cool and set, you are ready to plate. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and remember to check out the link in the description box below to get your two months of free premium membership. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and feel free to connect with me elsewhere at chefstudio underscore.